Never thought I'd spend my career discussing an ex-president allegedly being spanked with a magazine on national television, but there you are, let's call it, in the spirit of the times. Now, the weather here is finally improving. Many people might be planning to head to the beach to enjoy some sunshine, but in Scotland they're finding the landscape drastically changed. The large number of storms this winter has caused coastal erosion on, erosion on a massive scale. In places, dunes built up over decades have been washed away. Storm Babbitt in October had far-reaching impacts along the east coast, causing damage from the most northern areas right down to near Edinburgh. We know of at least 55 places which have been affected by coastal erosion, more than half in Fife as a result of storms Babbitt and Kieran. It's difficult to believe on such a sunny day that this beach has been ravaged by storms over the past eight months. This is the state of the path since the, the storms. We have actually already reprofiled this about five times really? over winter. Wow. Um, because obviously the dunes would have been much further out. It's so been swept away. Yeah, all been swept away in the course of sort of one winter. Storm Babette in October was only the start of the extreme weather faced over the winter period. Laura Douglas is one of the rangers looking after the beaches of East Lothian. But where we're walking now would have actually been part of the dunes. Okay. So we, we estimate we've lost at least 10 metres worth of dunes. And then just a little bit further on, it's so low that when we had the high tides um, in April, mm -hmm. the, the tide actually breached and went through the dunes, which we've never seen here before. Photos from the 1970s show the scale of the sand-covered dunes that once lined the coast at Gullen. But experts estimate this winter has eroded 80 years' worth of development. Have you ever seen it as sparse as this? I don't think so. No, and particularly along there, when I'm looking along there, I can see how yeah. you know, the, the sea has done its bit. If you go further along, um, it used to be covered in sand, and now it's all really, like it's just all the stones are there. So it's it's um, it's changed the walks that we we can do as well. This is the normal tide line, as you can see from the seaweed. But the power from these storms washed away all the sand that should be covering this area, leaving steep drops on the dunes. The concern is another winter of storms could erode what little is left of these natural barriers. The Scottish government's dynamic coast project is now looking at ways to protect these areas. Whilst we might not expect this every single year, when we think about climate change and sea levels which are accelerating in Scotland, then this is a sign of, the, of what's to come. And that's why we need to plan ahead for these sorts of winters. But how long can these beaches hold up with extreme weather events on the rise? Louise Scott, News at 10, East Lothian. Now, experts say that coastal erosion is placing homes and other properties at risk around the UK. They think that problem will get worse in the years ahead. And one of the recent casualties was an 18th century farmhouse. Now, it had been teeter teetering on a cliff edge in Norfolk. Now, it's been demolished, as our reporter, Robbie West, can explain. A building that stood for nearly 300 years pulled down in just the morning. A farmhouse left hanging over the edge of a cliff after a landslide was safely demolished. If you think back behind me here, this, this was a farm and where the sea is now used to be grazing. So it's been happening for a long time, but global warming has, ex has accelerated it. Bought for £132,000 in 2019, the owner wasn't here to see his home get demolished. The landslide that left this 18th century property hanging over the edge of the cliff happened at Easter. Exceptional amounts of rain over the winter has accelerated the erosion of the cliffs in Trimmingham. With so many properties close to the coast, experts say this could happen again. There are other properties in North Norfolk and elsewhere in England which are at immediate risk, which is why we need to be better prepared for it. We need to have the right mechanisms, the right policies and the right support in place so that these sorts of situations, we don't get to the situations where we've got properties on cliff edges. Climate change is having an impact um, on our coastlines. The sea levels are rising. This part of the coast is, is sinking as well. Um, increased storminess can have um, an impact on, on the coast. It impacts on our beach levels. 
We're expecting the challenges to increase as the years go by. Our coastline is constantly changing. A home for nearly three centuries pulled down before it fell to the sea. Robbie West, BBC News.